What's up guys, this is Noah with Avid Max, and today I'm excited to share with you a new pack from the 2023 lineup, and that is the Pro Waterproof Sling Pack from Orvis. So right from the get-go, you do have this chest strap. So here I just like to carry one set of forceps. Um, I do have them, so they have the scissors there at the bottom, so I can cut tip it off, um, so I don't really have to carry any nippers with me. Um, you are gonna have these nice attachment points right here, which are pretty nice if you do want to attach anything like any retractors or something like that. Um, and then you're gonna go ahead and if you unclip here, you can swing the pack all the way around and you have a full workstation right here, which is really nice. Something with these sling packs that I really appreciate is when they do have the ability to swing around very easily. Um, you know, you could definitely do this while you're still holding it right in one of your hands um, and work with everything that you need. So let's go ahead and talk about the exterior before we get into the interior. So right here, you do have this very nice, large uh, pocket here and you can store anything that you want here. Um, I do like to store um, some stuff like my indicators in here, um, hoppers, um, and then smaller streamers I like to carry, um, bugger patterns, jig streamers, anything like that. I like to throw in here. You also have plenty of room in here. Um, I know a lot of guys like to carry, you know, small journals with them, um, document the type of fish that they caught or the type of day that you had. Um, you definitely could store that in here. Um, you have plenty and plenty of room. I mean, my hand um, fills up the whole pack um, and you can just store as much stuff as you need in there. You're also gonna go ahead and just get this nice Velcro strap here. Um, definitely do not recommend putting any flies directly on there. Um, for small fee, you can go ahead and just buy one of these separate um, and then just stick your flies right on there. You know, this is a waterproof pack, so you really don't wanna risk uh, puncturing this with any holes or anything like that. Right here, you're also gonna have a molded tippet holder. Um, and for me, I'm carrying one through seven here, so it's really everything that you're gonna need. And you can obviously pop this out um, and adjust it accordingly for the day. Maybe you need something else. Um, maybe you're just dry fly fishing um, and you just wanna carry a bunch of lighter tippets. Go ahead and, and and uh, you can put them on there. So another cool feature on the exterior of this pack um, is the fact that it can hold a net. So right now we are using the long handled Orvis net, one of the new longer ones. And that went ahead and fit in this back scabbard pocket. So you actually have a wide opening to go ahead and put any net in here. And then there is an exit right here. I'm um, gonna just slides in there with ease. So that's really nice. Uh, you also have this nice little hook strap latch right here. So for me at the end of the day, I like to go ahead and uh, I don't like to store my bags on the ground or anything like that. I like to just store them up on a hook. Um, so you can definitely just store it right there um, and be prepared for the next outing. So another thing on this pack as well is you'll notice that it is utilizing um, very, very nice 10 millimeter perforated foam straps. So this is incredibly comfortable. Not only is this mesh very lightweight, but it's gonna be very comfortable throughout that whole day. So it is gonna help move with you. It is gonna be very comfortable when you do have it on your body, especially if you are wearing waders, if maybe you got a belt on or something, um, this isn't gonna be a very tough material um, and it's not gonna get hot. So it's definitely gonna be a lot more breathable than any other pack out there in the waterproof line. Um, so you can take this, uh, it'd be a perfect idea for anyone who wants to take it in uh, high mountain lakes, sand flats, maybe you're fishing in the winter. This is definitely a pack that can, can do all for you there. Flipping around on the bottom here, you do have this integrated uh, water bottle holder. So I like to carry this 48 ounce Nalgene water bottle. Um, this is a very nice, generous uh, water bottle holder. So you can definitely put in a hydro flask, you can put in a Yeti, anything you may need there. And then you do have this little strap that you can strap over it and then adjust it accordingly to whatever bottle that you may uh, take with you on the water there. So getting into the pack, it does use one of Orvis's T-Zip zippers. So it is gonna be a little harder to open up, but that is what you are paying for with a, uh, with a waterproof pack. Now, something I do want to point out with this too is Orvis went ahead and they did think about this ahead of time. You will have these straps here on the side. So you can actually go ahead. I like to put my thumb in or a finger in one of them and then you can actually just open it up uh, with ease. So that's really nice. It's especially nice when you are closing it um, just to make sure that you close it all the way uh, to the point where there's no air being let out and that's to help ensure that it is waterproof. So if this pack does go down, um, there's no leakage there. So in the pack, I like to carry, you know, depending on the time of the year. Right now it's a little cold outside, so I do have um, a jacket. I like to always carry that. Um, I do carry a couple fly boxes with me. These fly boxes recently have really uh, really been awesome to hold and to take with me. I've enjoyed those from Fish Pond, so take a look at those. Um, so right now, you know, I'd have like a midge box and then a subsurface box that I've been putting like some Euro bugs and stuff like that as well. Another feature about this pack though, is that you're also gonna have this hanging pocket. Um, and with this, I like to put any terminal tackle, my phones, keys, um, and everything that I need there. So what I like to put in here is uh, 
a couple liters uh, in case I need them, um, some micro swivels oh, and another liter pack. Um, I like to carry a generous amount of split shot, um, just in a lot of different variations and sizes, uh, just uh, so I can adjust accordingly to the water. Um, and then I also like to carry here like a little section for, for dry fly fishing, so I have some dry shake, um, have some gink there. Um, and it's very easy for me just to easily navigate through this um, and open the pack and know what I need. There is also a big zipper across the top. Unzip that. And in here, I like to keep everything that I want to make sure stays dry during the day. So I have phone, keys, wallet. Um, you can put anything else that you'd like in here. So uh, just keep this in mind as something that you wouldn't want getting wet. So if you're still using paper maps or something like that, go ahead and stick them in there um, and they should be all good to go. Maybe you have uh, board documents or whatever you may be carrying. So that's definitely a nice spot in there. So with the inside of the pack though, you are gonna have a very, very generous 14 liter inside. So this is gonna be absolutely amazing for anyone who wants to carry more stuff on the water. And something that we do wanna show you too is if you are carrying a streamer box, a bigger box, this is the Fish Pond Tacky Pescador Extra Large Box. So you can go ahead and store a lot of stuff in here. You could do a lot of big dry flies in here. You could store some streamers in here or anything like that. This actually fits right in the bag with ease and you have plenty and plenty of room to actually fit more boxes in here. I can fit all the stuff back in here. I can also fit a jacket in here um, quite easily. So there's a lot of room in here to utilize, uh, plenty of gear. So that is something to take into consideration. If you do like carrying a lot of gear with you, um, this pack will definitely, uh, definitely be something that you should take a look at. So this pack is made with an 840 denier puncture resistant uh, ballistic nylon. So what that's gonna help do that with the 0.1 millimeter uh, coated TPU on both sides is this pack is essentially gonna be not only uh, resistant to UV rays, but uh, ensuring that it's waterproof and making sure that the integrity is not compromised at all. And here, this is a perfect example, right? So if I'm out on the water um, and I close my pack and I think it's closed, I can still hear that air going out. So you wanna make sure that you do, you know, grab on somewhere, latch, and then really just close that zipper right there. Um, and when no air is being let out, that's exactly what you're gonna go ahead and want with this. With that, guys, we really enjoyed reviewing this pack. If you'd like to pick one up yourself, you can pick one up at avidmax.com. If you have any questions over the pack, feel free to give us a call and we'd love to answer them. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, why don't you like, subscribe, share the video. We'd really appreciate it to help grow the channel. Um, and with that, we hope to see you out on the water.